Hello and welcome to Installer Guru, where we make installation easy. In today's video, we're setting up a Docker server on Ubuntu Server, installing Docker Compose and connecting to the server over SSH. A lot of you ask how to install Docker, how to connect it, and how to actually use it. So let's do it together, step by step. For this demo, I'm using a virtual computer in Hyper-V. In your case, it could be a physical computer or a regular server. That's totally fine. First, I go to the Ubuntu server download page and grab the latest stable ISO. I boot from the ISO, choose Try or Install Ubuntu Server, and the installer starts. I pick my language and keyboard layout, then choose Ubuntu Server only. Because this machine will act as our shared Docker host, I'm setting a manual static IP. In the subnet field, I enter the full network with the mask. My example is 192.168.10.0 slash 24. For the address, I type the actual server IP. Mine is 192.168.10.56. The gateway is my router, 192.168.10.1. For DNS, I'm using public resolvers 8.8.8.8 and 1.1.1.1. In your setup, you can use your router address or your local DNS. I save the network settings and continue. If you use an internet proxy, enter it now. I'm leaving it blank. The installer checks mirrors and I get a prompt that a newer installer is available. I'll update it now so we're fully up to date and then continue. Next is storage. I'm using the entire disk for this demo. If you have a large drive, you can split it into two partitions. There's an option for disk encryption too. Turning that on with a strong passphrase adds an extra layer of security for your files. I'm skipping encryption here, confirm the changes, and continue. Now, I create the user and name the server. I choose a strong password because this is the admin account. Ubuntu Pro is offered here. I'll skip it for the demo. If you run critical business applications, Ubuntu Pro gives you support benefits and extra updates. I enable the open SSH server so I can connect over SSH right from the beginning. Ubuntu also shows some popular snap packages you can add during install. Snap packages are pre-built apps that are easy to install and maintain. Great for small businesses to get started quickly. You'll see options like Nextcloud, Docker Runtime, PowerShell, and more. I'm not including any snaps in this demo. I start the installation, let it finish, and reboot. We're back, Ubuntu server is ready. I connect from my SSH tool. I'm using MobaX term today. You can also use PuTTY, VS Code, or any SSH client. I create a new SSH session to my server IP, 192.168.10.56. One of the reasons I like MobaX term is that it gives me more control. I can customize the console colors, and most importantly, I get a file browser on the left and a terminal on the right. That side-by-side -side view makes it easy to move around files while I run commands. I log in as my regular user. Mine is Docker. First, I update the system so we're on the latest packages. Once that completes, I'm good to go.
Now, I'm going to set a root password. This is optional, but I'll do it for the demo. I switch to root, set a strong password, and confirm it. Let's install Docker. I install Docker from Ubuntu's repository and enable it. That's quick. Next, I install Docker Compose so I can run multi-container applications from a single YAML file. When that's done, I check the versions. Docker shows up for me as 27.51 and Docker Compose shows 1.292. Your numbers may be different. The point is that both are installed and working. We could run containers directly from the command line now but a web interface makes life a lot easier. Enter Portainer. Portainer is a lightweight web UI that lets you deploy and manage containers, volumes, networks, and even full stacks with just a few clicks. I create a Docker volume for Portainer's data so its configuration stays safe and persistent. Now, for this demo, I also want to browse system folders comfortably from the Mobax term left panel. So I'm enabling root login over SSH. I open the SSH server config file set permit root login yes, save and restart the SSH service. Then I open a new SSH session as root. Now I can freely explore the file system and quickly check the Docker volumes as well. Time to launch Portainer. I run the Portainer Community Edition LTS container, publish ports 8000 and 9443, set it to always restart, Mount the Docker socket and attach the data volume we created. That's it. Portainer is running. I jump to my browser and open https colon slash slash 192.168.10.56 colon 9443. On first launch, Portainer asks me to create an admin user. I set the password, log in, and choose the local Docker environment. The dashboard loads, and I can already see one running container, Portainer itself. From here, it's point and click. I can pull and run containers, create and manage volumes and networks, and use stacks to deploy complete applications from a Docker Compose file. If you already have a Compose file, open stacks, Add a new stack, paste your YAML, include an environment file if needed, and hit deploy. Portainer builds everything as defined. Containers, networks, volumes, the whole setup. There's also a template section with ready-to-use apps so you can spin up common services in just a few clicks. And that's our build. Ubuntu server installed. SSH enabled. Docker and Docker Compose ready. And Portainer on top for easy web-based management. Now you can manage multiple containers without memorizing commands and still drop to the terminal anytime you want that fine-grained control. If you'd like us to design and deploy larger server and network setups with industry standard security, Get in touch with our specialist team. Email guruinstaller at gmail.com or visit installaguru.in. Thanks for watching. I'm signing off. Happy installing with Installer Guru.